So when a businessman is a great moral leader, it is because they have maintained their conscience separately from their operations. They have would, taken. Would you put Bill Gates in that? So yeah. Gates, uh, sure, is the most ruthless capitalist. And then he decides, he wakes up one morning and he says, enough. And he steps down, he takes his money, takes it off the table, and I think, I've, I firmly believe that 50 years from now, he will be remembered for his charitable work. No one will even remember what Microsoft is. And of the great entrepreneurs of this era, people will have forgotten Steve Jobs. Who's Steve Jobs again? But Gates will be, there will be statues of Gates across the third world. And people will remember him as the man who, you know, there's a reasonable shot he will cure, because of his money, we will cure malaria. Every single idea he ever had came from somebody else. And by the way, he would be the first to say this. But was he the first? Because you say he also uh, tried to take credit. Or oh, he would also take credit for things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for, other people's, for other people's yeah. ideas. Yes, yes. That was, he, was, um, uh, he was shameless, and he was someone who, I say all of these things, he was an ex extraordinarily brilliant businessman and entrepreneur. He was also a, a self-promoter on a level that we have rarely seen. Um, think about it. Look, all the things that made him a brilliant self-promoter, were they overlapped with what made him a great businessman, right? He was brilliant at understanding the image he wanted to craft for the world. What was brilliant about Apple? He understood from the get-go that the key to success in that marketplace was creating a distinctive and powerful um, and seductive brand. And he was as good at doing that for laptops as he was doing it for himself.